you probably clicked on this video because you've seen the absurd loading times or how fast Death Stranding 2 loads or for whether you're loading from a save or you're loading from the main menu you're pressing continue you've seen how fast it loads now you're probably wondering why other games don't do something similar to that or they don't do exactly that well for you to understand how or why it's fast you need to understand how a normal traditional game loads so your save file in the game or your save yeah your save file stores basic information like your level the items you have your inventory um how far you've gone your progress where you are but most importantly it stores your location in the game or where you're supposed to be in the game so when you open the game and then you press continue the game takes that information puts you where you're supposed to be like loads your player where your player is meant to be and then it loads the word around it from scratch again that's why it's long because it's basically let's say you were playing and then you want to load a different save it has to clear your area put you in a new place and load that place again so the thing is um death stranding hasn't come out with any official statement yet but how i feel they did it is very very clever so we've seen we've seen stuff like this before during our um PSP, PSPP era days where there was a feature called save state where you could um, freeze or save the state where you're playing at that point in time and then load into that exact same state like you're not loading to the save, you're loading into the state Xbox does something like that with their quick resume where when you're playing a game it's what saving the state means is all the information that has been loaded into the game memory while you're playing gets saved to the hard drive so it's not saving your progress it's saving the point in time that you're playing all the assets all the building everything that has loaded will just be moved from the ram to the hard drive and when you reload the states not the save the states when you reload the states it moves those files back to the ram so it's not loading the full game again it already has what it needs to play that's how quick resume and saving state works so what i feel what death stranding is doing is they're taking the state of the game and saving it inside individual save files even though the save file still holds other stuff like your inventory and stuff instead of saving the player location it might do that but it also saves the state of the save the difference is xbox quick resume saves the state of the entire game but i feel death stranding saves the state of the save that you're playing so what in practice what that would mean is when you pick a save or yeah for me if you choose to choose to load a save it just carries from memory or from the hard drive it's saved it carries the state of the game and puts it back inside the game so when you load a different save it just clears the memory from the ram and moves a different one because remember we're talking about the ps5 so we have like that insane read and write speeds so that's how i that's why i feel when you open the game it does all the playstation stuff or the kojima and the rest and you can't skip it because while it's showing you that in the background it's using the super fast ssd to load up all those things you, you've you seen how fast when for example you load up a quick resume title it takes like 12 seconds to get the files from the memory back so from the hard drive back to the memory it's quick so that, that's why they can get away with it now the reason why it's not commonly used is because of the optimization so usually when the normal game engine works, it takes your location and builds the world around you again, like from the scratch. But you now have to optimize your game in a way where it doesn't do that. Like once it takes the, remember this, just imagine the state as a box, all the buildings are around the box. So when it takes the state with the boxes and all the houses and the player data and the environmental data from there, 
it takes the bugs and put it into the memory then you have to build your engine in a way that it's going to continue building from there which is the optimization and a lot of companies don't want to do that they don't want to waste the time to, for their engine to be flexible enough to handle that amount of data streaming at once that's why they wouldn't or you wouldn't see them do that at all it's very good practice it's it makes a lot of sense it's like everyone everyone is shocked they think it's black magic xbox already done it before with their it's old technology but the 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 insane amount of read and write speeds we have kojima instead of reloading the entire world again from the drive the engine is optimized to carry the save state load the save state and then build the game around the save state so what that means is let's say the save state costs 7 gigs or it, it stores 7 gigs of data it gives you 7 gig worth of terrain to, to travel th through while it's loading the rest of it so you can it's it will only take load this small area and then you can walk around the small area then as you're walking around instead of you waiting for the game to load in the loading screen it's loading the new things into to fill in the remaining gaps of the game that's what it's doing pretty much see like um series x can do 12 games i think how many games can you do for quick resume that's the same way it can do multiple saves because all you just have to do is just have this space for it so that, that, that's how I feel they did it, that it feels instant. We can see something similar to that if you're wondering why other Sony games don't do that. Because we don't really have any game that was built from the ground up for the PS5. Aside from the Spider-Man 2 reference, that's another reason why the fast travel is fast. Because whenever you peek, I feel like the entire game, the entire state of the game is also being saved. So whenever you, you load it, like you fast travel to a different place, why it's fast is because it's just taking the state again of that region and then loading it into the game instead of building the game again out for or back from the scratch or from the geometry data it's given it just takes the state put it in the game then builds the game around the state not around the player location around the states that's pretty much how it achieves unless i'm wrong but because PlayStation isn't saying anything about it, so I feel like this is the way. If I was like, I am like in the computer space, so I kind of like know. So I feel that is like the most likely way that was achieved. And if you found this video informational, please subscribe, like, and all that jazz. I have other videos coming up. I've just been really, really busy. But I'm trying to come back and I should have like three videos very soon. So you want to subscribe and turn on the bell not to miss it. And thank you very much and keep on playing Death Stranding.